The railroad played a major role in the growth of the nation. It unified a sprawling country and spurred the Industrial Revolution. Early railroads used horse-drawn carriages, but the real beginning of the railroad era began on Christmas Day, 1830, when the first steam locomotive inaugurated passenger service in Charleston. Within a decade, more than 2,800 miles of track were in operation, with five out of six New England states laying rails. By 1850, more than 9,000 miles of track had been laid as transportation links developed in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic states and connected the growing Midwest. But it was during the decade between 1850 and 1860 that the railroads grew into a true network, serving all the states east of the Mississippi. Track mileage more than tripled. Construction was so great that the U.S. nearly equaled the rest of the world in total mileage. Rival transportation felt this growth in the West, Traffic shifted from the north-south axis of the rivers to the east-west axis of the rails. The railroads played a key role in the Civil War. Both sides moved troops and supplies in great number, but the superior network of the north contributed to the defeat of the Confederacy. The period after the Civil War until World War I was the golden age of railroads, with no other form of transportation to challenge its leadership. On May 10, 1869, the country was connected from coast to coast with the completion of the first transcontinental railroad at Promontory Point, Utah. Railroad construction had regional impact, too. Over a 20-year period, ranchers followed cattle routes like the famous Chisholm Trail, north to shipping points in Missouri and Kansas, until the railroads were extended into the Texas Range country. During the decades after the Civil War, track was standardized, time zones were introduced, and by 1885, four new transcontinental lines had reached the West Coast. Railroads and the economy flourished, with cheap freight rates promoting industrialization and national markets. By 1930, railroads had reached their peak, with almost 430,000 miles of track. But competition from trucks and airlines eroded their business so that by the mid-70s, ten railroads in the Northeast and Midwest were in bankruptcy. In 1971, Amtrak was formed by the government to provide passenger service that the railroad companies could not afford and serve as a link between major urban centers. The miles of railroad track have declined steadily since 1930, and the number of passengers traveling by train is now a fraction of what it once was, but railroads are still an important part of our transportation network.